Hey guys, welcome back to the Prim and Proper channel. In this video, I am sharing with you all a very simple but delicious way to make Ghanaian style corned beef stew. So here is everything you will need to make the stew. I will go over the exact quantities in the description below. You will need some onions, you will need some fresh tomatoes, you will need some carrots, some sweet bell peppers, any colors that you want. You will need some garlic, some fresh rosemary, some ginger roots, some hot pepper, some spring onions, some corned beef. I like to use shrimp flavored seasoning for my corned beef stew. You can use any other kind of seasoning that you prefer such as a beef flavored seasoning or chicken flavored seasoning. You will need some salt to taste as well as some oil to make your stew. I will also be adding a little bit of my homemade tomato sauce. And so if you haven't seen how I make my tomato sauce at home, I will put a link to that recipe in the description below. So one thing I love about this recipe is that you don't need to blend anything to get it done. And so it's very quick um, and it's very easy. All you need to do is to chop up or slice up your ingredients and then just put everything together. So let's go ahead and get started. To get started, I'm going to put one cube of my shrimp flavored Maggi into my hot oil, um, just to give it some flavor um, in my oil. I sometimes use all spice in my oil for flavor, but when I was making this stew, I didn't have the all spice, so this works very well also. Next, I'm going to add in my sliced white onions. So corned beef stew likes a lot of onions. I'm somebody who likes to cook with a lot of onions anyway, and so I usually will use a lot of onions for my corned beef stew. And this is about four to five large white onions that I'm using. It gives you volume in your stew, but it also gives you a lot of taste and it tastes really good, particularly if you're having your corned beef stew with some boiled yams. It goes really well this way when you have a lot of onions in it. So after about five minutes, I'm going to go ahead and add my chopped up hot peppers. So the, the amount of hot peppers that you use will depend on how spicy you want your stew to be. I'm using one large hot green pepper and one large hot red pepper. So if you don't want your stew to be spicy, you will probably need one or one and a half. I'm also making a lot of the stew, so two is okay for me. Next, I'm going to grate both my ginger roots and my garlic. So remember, we're not blending anything at all for this stew. So we're going to be grating the ginger and the garlic. I used about two to three thumbs of garlic for my stew. And I also grated about four large cloves of garlic in my stew. Next, I'm going to add in my homemade tomato sauce. Like I said earlier, I have shared the recipe for this on this channel, and so I'm going to put the link in the description below for anyone who is interested in making their tomato sauce at home. It really makes a huge difference in how your stew, your jollof rice, um, or whatever you're making that needs tomato sauce if you use this. So it's slightly frozen because I previously made this and it was in my refrigerator. So it's a little bit frozen, but all you need is about three tablespoons of the tomato sauce for this corned beef stew recipe. Next, I'm going to add my fresh tomatoes that have been chopped up. I shouldn't have poured all that water into my stew. You want to avoid adding any excess fluid that you don't need for this recipe. 
um, it needs it needs to be as dry as possible so that it can cook very quickly so the excess water in the plate wasn't really needed so um, if you can avoid that um, don't do that otherwise it's fine it just need it just means that you need to cook your stew a little bit longer to make sure that you get all the excess water out of your stew so I'm going to let this cook for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to add the rest of my veggies. In addition to the shrimp flavored Maggi that I used earlier in my stew, I'm also going to add a little bit of seasoning for flavor and also a little bit of salt to taste. But I'm going to wait to add the salt at the end after I've added my corned beef because as you may know, corned beef is a little bit salty and so you want to add your salt at the end only if you need it and after you've added your corned beef and you're sure that you need a little bit more salt. Next, I'm going to add in my fresh rosemary but first be sure to pull it off the sprig like so before you add it into your stew. Next, add in your carrots and cover up your stew to let the carrots cook with the stew for at least five minutes. Here is a tip for using corned beef in stews or sauces. You freeze the corned beef for 15 to 20 minutes before you use it in your stew. What it does is of course it freezes it up a little bit so it hardens it up and doesn't let it dissolve too quickly in your stew or your sauce. You also don't want to stir it up too much after you've put it in your stew and so I wait till the very end before I add my corned beef into my stew. I'm also cutting up my corned beef into big chunks like so, so that I don't have to stir it up too much to break it apart in my stew. The goal is to have my corned beef in my stew um, a little bit chunky, not like little teeny bits, but if that happens, that's fine also. It's not going to change the flavor of your stew in any way. So I'm now going to add in all of my sweet bell peppers. It doesn't matter how you cut up your sweet bell peppers, just however you want it. If you want them big or small, I kind of did both. I cut some small and I cut some big in different shapes, whatever you want to do. And then I'm going to add in my spring onions also. So the final item that's going to go in our stew is our corned beef. I've just put that in the stew. I'm going to stir it up just slightly and then I'm going to let our stew cook at medium to low heat for at least 10 to 15 minutes and then our stew should be ready. If this was your first time on this channel, welcome to the Prime and Proper YouTube channel and thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video to the end. If you are an old member of this family, thanks for always coming back and for showing us so much love. If you think I did a good job with this video and if you enjoyed watching this video, why don't you go ahead and give me a big thumbs up Leave me some comments to let me know how you did. If you try this recipe in the future and if you like it, please come back and give me a big thumbs up if you didn't give me a thumbs up now. Let me know how the recipe turned out for you. You can have this with rice, with yams, with plantains, rye plantains, benku. You can have it with kenke if I didn't mention that earlier. Um, but thank you so much. I'm planning to put this video out on the 31st. So if I do, I wish you all 
a very happy new year and I'm looking forward to putting out more videos for you all in the new year. Thanks so much for watching and bye guys.